All right, guys, we got the buggy loaded down with golf clubs. I cannot talk in there because there was a lot of music. All right, guys, and here we are in downtown Charleston. We are in rain. Guys, coming back on the air. I just looked this thing up, man. What is up, YouTube? What's going on, everybody? It's Casey, also known as Carolina Thrifter here on YouTube. Guys, today is Sunday, July 4th. Happy Independence Day to everybody. So I'm gonna start out today going thrifting before I go home. And I'm um, gonna start out one of my good Goodwills here that I like going to and hopefully find some good stuff. I have a compilation of all my finds throughout this video. So it's not just today, it's another day I thrifted as well. But guys, let's go ahead and get in here and find out if we can find anything cool in here today. So we'll see you there. All right, guys, so in the Goodwill, there is music playing. So I'll probably just do a voiceover and most of the goodwills I go to and probably put music in the background for you. But yeah, in this Goodwill here, I was looking at some shoes, not the greatest, you know, pickups for shoes in here today, but I did come down the aisle here and on the corner, there was a croquet set. It's not something normally I would pick up, but it was the 4th of July. It looked cool and they only wanted $9.99 for that. So I did pick that up and I was very excited about it. So yes, guys, I just bought a croquet set out of the Goodwill. Man, this is, it's July 4th. I mean, why not? I don't even know what this goes for new. I could have bought it new for 10 bucks, but I'm excited about this. When I was a little kid, I played this thing. So $9.99, got all the croquet sticks, got all the balls, got the little, like, I remember playing this and I'm gonna look it up and all the rules, but heck yeah, I'm so excited about that. For 10 bucks, can't beat that. My son is gonna have a blast, so. Happy 4th of July to me. Got a game to play today. Guys, coming back on the air. I just looked this thing up, man. This thing's worth some good money. I'll throw a soul comp in the screen out here for you. Like, I heard someone sold one for 50. And I mean, if you have the wheel car, it goes for like 200. So I'm gonna do some more investigating. This thing's in really good shape. I mean, I only see there's one missing. I don't think it's gonna kill it too bad. I'm excited, yeah, like 10 bucks, I can still turn this into 50, 60 bucks. So I wanted to kind of lighten you on that. Pick up croquet sets, they still worth money, especially if you find the ones with the wheels. All right guys, so I'm in my next Goodwill. Actually, this is a thrift store. And I come to this thrift store a lot because it's across the street from my daughter's daycare. And I used to go to the golf bin first. Nothing really good picking up in here. There was a swing trainer you saw me just lay down. Didn't buy it, didn't have a name brand. These actually are Linux irons, and I didn't look them up. Sometimes Linux could be a really good iron set to pick up, but I did not pick those up. They're really old, so I didn't really see anything good in here worth picking up, but at least they have stuff in here because lately they haven't had anything in here. I did come on down to the shoe area here and I did find a nice pair of ASIC shoes and they were marked down. I was very surprised. They wanted $12.99, but they have a mark down to $6.50 and then they do charge tax in this one. But with that cool teal pattern, I am definitely not going to leave them there. I'm gonna pick this one up. So, and they were in really great shape. Well, that one was kind of weak, but we did get a pair of ASIC shoes, so not too bad. I did want to pick these up. I probably did a voiceover in the video, but $6.50. They're in great shape, so I did not pass up. Soul comps are all up and down, 20 bucks probably, so not too bad. And here again, we're in another Goodwill that I commonly go to probably once or twice a week. Um, the golf clubs, there's still not anything really decent in here. They occasionally will put out some good clubs in here, but it is rare and then normally it doesn't last long. So those actually look like they just came out of a yard sale. Those are H&B Citation Persimmon Woods. They do not sell really well. So I wouldn't bother picking those up. And there's an old Wilson iron, but golf clubs were not any good in there. I did come over here and spot these shoes and I looked these up. You couldn't really find anything on them. I almost believe these may have been like fake. So definitely stayed away. They had like the made in China tag in front and side of it, which normally I think means they're fake. So someone can leave in the comments below if I'm wrong or right on that. But I actually think these were supposed to be Paul George's shoes, but definitely left them. Then I did find these nice pair of Asics Gel Nimbus 18s here. They were in good shape. I um, looked them up, sold comps were decent. I'm gonna pay six bucks for them. So definitely wanted to pick those up. 
All right, guys, so not too bad in there. I did score one pair of shoes, A6 Gel Nimbus 18s. Not too bad. They look like they were selling for about $20 to $30, depending on condition. There are some of these styles with different color combinations that were selling for big money. But yeah, not too bad in there. $6, not a bad pickup. All right, guys, so this is a different day. We're actually about to cross over the Ravenel Bridge into Charleston, and that's my beautiful wife, and then we got the kids in the back, and we're actually headed there to take some pictures, so um, great time. But before we go there, we are going to the Goodwill, and inside the Goodwill, hopefully to find something good. And we did, I did come around the corner, and I, I would think this would be a home run find, so they must have just put this out. Normally stuff like this does not stay out there long. This is a full set of Callaway irons, also has a tailor-made driver inside of one of them. And then we got some old school persimmon woods, some Callaway woods, and it's inside of a Titleist bag that I did leave because it was broken, but I just bought the golf clubs three bucks a piece. So later on in the video, I do go over all those. And probably after I leave this Goodwill, I probably go over some of it as well. Also found a pair of decent Under Armour shoes, and I think they were going for like 20, 30 bucks. So unfortunately, there was like a little spot on here where they were coming apart, so um, I did leave them. All right, guys, we got the buggy loaded down with golf clubs. I cannot talk in there because there was a lot of music going on because yeah we got a nice haul that i just picked up out of there they want a three dollars a club all right guys so i'm about to load it up in the car but i'll show you what we got here and of course as always i'll go over it at the end and see we got a know that was under there hey it's got the original head cover with it it's pretty cool yeah i know old jack nicholas mcgregor wow they had a whole set in here a whole set of callaway Raise our, our Hawkeyes. Wow. Yep, not too bad. Yeah. So yeah, I was telling that gentleman, you know, we got some Callaway Hawkeyes. We got a tailor-made driver. Yeah, a tailor-made 540, nine and a half degree driver. That's pretty decent. These are like $20, $30 drivers. Like I say, I usually go over all this stuff at the end of my videos, let you know a whole value on everything. I mean, it's some really good stuff here. We got the Callaway Big Bertha Fullwood. It's like the original ones. But um, definitely a decent $20, $30 club. I even picked up this. This is a Wilson Staff J, J Custom Grind Tour Blade. Probably should have left that one in there. It's got a lot of wear. I just got a little excited about buying all that stuff. What's under here? Another Jack Nicklaus Persimmon Wood. Not too bad. All right, guys. Last Goodwill of the evening here. And yes, I have a competition at the golf club rack. But there wasn't really anything to pick up in there at the moment, so it's okay. And then came on down, look, looking around. It wasn't a whole lot to find in there. I did find a pair of shoes over here on the corner, some Mizunos with a really cool, like, lime green print. And I did want to pick these up. Looks like the sole comps around $25 and usually puts me where I want to be on the shoes. So paying $6 for them, not a bad deal. All right, guys, and here we are in downtown Charleston. We are in Rain on Rainbow Row. If you ever heard of it or seen it, this is it, man. We're on Rainbow Row. Different color houses, and we're leaving mommy way down there. Check out, this is a very cool place, a very historical place if you've ever been here. It doesn't have a building taller than the tallest church steeple, so you won't see any skyscrapers around, but, it's a, but it is a really big city. Isn't that right, Connor? Yeah. Check out Connor's outfit, everybody. He's got on the red, white, and blue USA representing for July 4th. And there is my beautiful daughter, my beautiful wife, and she is also representing the, you know, the red, white, and blue colors here today. Look at her. Hey, Chick Claire, say cheese. <laughs> I love the cheese. She's got such an awesome smile with her little cheese. I love it. All right. All right. So we're just gonna walk around downtown Charleston. I'm gonna... And guys, this is a family tradition. Every year we come down here on July 4th weekend and we get pictures of the kids right here off the cobblestone street right here in downtown Charleston. As you can see, my wife, she is doing the photography. She has a 
you know, amateur, semi-professional photographer. And smile for the camera, say cheese. Say cheese for mommy. I can stand behind you. Say cheese. And guys, I present to you, this is the Charleston Battery. Right here at the, what do you call it, the waterfront park. Well, this ain't the battery, it's the waterfront park. If you're walking down to the right, you have the battery. I don't think I'm walking over there today. But yeah, welcome to Charleston. This is, this is one of my favorite spots here. You got the water, I mean, you got downtown over here. You got the, the Ravenel Bridge, no clear. And that down there would be Fort Sumter. Really cool place here. Come to Charleston, I recommend visiting it. Whoa, wait a minute, don't fall. Let me help. Boom. Look at that, man. They're on a boat. Come here, this way. This way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Quick. And if you can see, that is the Ravenel Bridge right there in the background. I forgot the name of this restaurant. It's right here in front of it. What's it called? Fleet Landing. Very good place to eat at if you ever come to Charleston. I have never eaten there because my kids always act up when I get to the waiting area and it takes like be prepared to wait it takes like 45 minutes to sit down and eat sometimes an hour maybe two then we got the pineapple over here this is a pretty cool spot I think the kids go swimming connor has done it when he was a kid connor you remember that yeah <laughs> yeah you want to go get in it no okay good yeah we don't want to get wet yeah. all right guys so i am back home now I hope you enjoyed the clips of me and the family in downtown Charleston. It's pretty cool. Really nice out that day. So, but guys, right now I'm gonna turn the camera and show you the haul. This is the haul from the past two days. So it wasn't bad. I mean, that's like like my biggest grand slam of all time, but I mean not bad stuff. This is two days of pickups from going to probably about five different thrift stores. And we'll start down with the shoes first. You know, we got shoes, then we got some golf clubs, and that's all I picked up. And that's usually what I sell. This is my bread and butter items. But yeah, we do got a pair of Mizunos. These are Mizuno Wave Sonora 2s. I found these in the Goodwill for $6. And looks like they were selling for like 20, I don't know, about 20, 25 dollars on eBay. And what I am going to do, instead of putting these on eBay, I'll probably just put these on the Facebook Marketplace. I have had a lot of good luck selling shoes on Facebook Marketplace. And I mean, I sell them fast and usually a little bit more money. And then I only pay 5% in fees. So it should turn that 25, or that I pay six, should turn that into at least $25. That is my usually my goal with shoes to get at least $25. Moving on, we got the A6 Gel Nimbus 18s. And I was probably talking about these in the video, but these right here, if you found a, a like a really cool color pattern, I don't think this would qualify, but they do sell very well and on a lot more money. These I think would go for at least $25, worst case $20. And I paid six for them in a Goodwill. And then you got a pair of another A6. I forgot the submodel of these. A6 Venture 6. I mean, it has a really cool teal pattern. So that's what caught me on to it. It was in a thrift store. And they, you can still see they wanted $12.99. And then they marked it down to $6.50. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of blurred out. But get a magic eraser and get that off. It's usually how I clean shoes. I mean, I don't get too crazy with it. So if I see dirty, dirty shoes, I don't even pick it up. So as long as it's low maintenance, low work, I'll pick it up. But I just see at least $25 for these, maybe more. Like I said, I'm gonna list all that on the Facebook Marketplace on platform and hopefully get those sold very quickly. Well guys, moving on to the golf club. So it was a pretty decent golf club haul in that one Goodwill I had. Um, I considered that, I mean, I paid $35 for all this except for one club down here. The one club down here I found in a Goodwill, this is it's pretty cool. It's old beat up looking, nasty looking club, but it is designed to look like this. This is a Callaway B forged wedge. And yeah, it is a forged wedge. It's 52 degree. That means it's a gat wedge. These sell pretty good. I haven't looked up a sole comp, but I imagine it will sell for at least $20, $30. You can see there is a lot of rust on the face, but like I said, it's designed to do that. And what I'll do is put that in a bucket of vinegar and that'll clean up and it'll look very nice. And then like I said, sell for like 20, 30 bucks. And I picked that up for $3. And then I had that big haul in the one Goodwill. We picked up some persimmon woods. So anytime you find jack nicholas mcgregor stuff i do pick that up i mean especially like these are really cool persimmon woods i don't think they're gonna sell like for a ton of money but i think between the two i should at least get 40 50 bucks for them um jack I mean, anytime like i said anytime you see mcgregor and you see jack nicholas's name attached to it it's definitely something i would pick up so um, there you go and they're oil hardened i can't really explain to you what that means um somebody in the comments may can because i'm not that educated on persimmon woods 
and I'll hardly ever pick up persimmon woods, but, but as long as they say that name, I'll pick it up. Moving on, we got some more woods down here. Of course, we got Callaway. Callaway is a good name of golf to pick up. This is the old school Warbird Big Bertha here. So this is like their, I think this is when Callaway was really starting to make their name. These clubs still hit very well. I've hit them before. This is the four wood. They make like all the way up to the 11 wood. And this one right here, I think goes for like 20 bucks. Not too bad. It's got a graphite shaft. I hate it right here. These graphite shafts, the writing does come off. This is a RCH probably at 90 but I can't tell what flex it is. So it's probably a firm flex and that's how they code their, their flexes as a regular or stiff, kind of complicated. So and then we got this Callaway Big Bertha Steelwood. This is probably like a couple models after this one or maybe the next one. And three just means it's a strong three wood. And this probably goes for like 20, 30 bucks as well. And let's see, it's got an RCH. You can see they updated the shaft, RCH 99, firm flex. So this is a stiff flex shaft. So let's say they made some improvements on the design and you know, the color, the writing on the shaft too doesn't fade off like the older ones. And then we got this old school Taylor made burner plus like the old, I guess they would call it like a Pittsburgh persimmon wood. And these things, I swear, I don't see how anybody could hit these. These actually are gaining some popularity on eBay. I've seen like this, I haven't looked up a sold on there, but last time I looked, these things are selling now, but very small head. I think that would be considered a driver and look how small the head is. And I, probably i didn't know what was under there and i picked i got kind of excited in there i picked there picked a few things up and um you know it comes with the original head cover so that increases the value i think this head cover alone is worth like 12 dollars. so not a bad pickup pay three bucks i'm not hating it and then moving on we did pick up an iron set in here this is a four i think it's a four through yeah four through nine iron this is called a callaway tungsten injected irons i said hawkeye in the video they are considered hawkeye because it does have the hawk on there if you can see i'll turn a iron around so you can see it properly but they do make an actual hawkeye iron and these are the tungsten injected i think this is the model before it but really good hitting irons made by callaway and these still sell i think someone sold a three through nine iron like this set well i'm missing the three iron but they sold it for 125 dollars i should easily see 100 bucks they have graphite shafts and they are regular flex no i'm sorry firm flex so that's a stiff flex shaft for them grips are good so i should definitely see at least 100 bucks for that so not bad. I paid, like I said, three bucks a club for that. Moving on, we did get, I shouldn't have bought this. This is a Wilson Staff, like little blade wedge here. And it's got a lot of wear on the face. I can't imagine me getting much money for that. So that probably was a bad buy. And then there was a TaylorMade driver in here. These, this is like not an older TaylorMade driver, but not a new one. This is probably made in the early 2000s, you know, where the head started getting a little bit bigger. This is the R540 and I've hit these before and they do hit pretty good. But um, decent club, decent pickup, comes with a head cover. And let's see, we got a stiff flex shaft. So this club I think sells for like 30 bucks, I believe. So not a bad body for $3 and really good shape too. I mean, there's like no scratches, don't like it's hardly been hit. So not bad there. And then like I said, that was it. But, all right, well guys. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I do appreciate everybody watching. If you got some good value out of today's video, please don't forget to smack the like button. It does help my channel out a lot. Again, guys, appreciate y'all watching again, and we'll see you on the next video. See you.